Hey everybody, Joy here. It is Monday, April 29, April 29, 2019. And guess who's coming over? We're gonna have to talk real, real fast because we're gonna have to keep this real, real short. <laughs> but guess who's coming over? It's Terry Bear. But you remember Terry made me this for my birthday? This is one of my very, very favorite things that I own. And I absolutely, no, you can't say absolutely, and you can't say love three times. I really like it very much. I do. Terry made me this. So, she is coming over this morning because my cell phone can't fit in here. It's like a half inch too narrow this way for my cell phone to fit in it. So we're gonna make me a new one. I'm like, I wanna make it, but she's gonna come over here and she's gonna help me and show me how. Cause she's made dozens and dozens of them. Most of them are full size wallets, but she's made one of these for me. And then another lady wanted one cause she saw mine. So she made one for her. So this is what we're gonna play with this morning. We don't have the leather yet. I ordered the leather yesterday, $92 for one piece of leather. I don't know how big it's gonna be, but. <laughs> She's going to buy what I don't need for this. So anyway, that's what's happening this Monday. And I'll come back and let Terry say hi to you when she gets here. Hold on. Hey, everybody. Terry here. Joy told me you guys were missing me. So I came up and I'm coming over this morning to help her make another uh, clutch wallet. The name of it is, I don't think you can see this, but anyway, Necessary Clutch Wallet or NCW. You can get the pattern at Emmeline Bags, E-M-M-A-L-I-N-E -M -M -E Bags. And they have a full version, which is this size. And this is Joy's mini version right there. They also have the mini version that you can get the pattern and we're just going to have tons of fun today getting this done and I am so glad that I came over, when was it, yesterday or Saturday to help Joy figure out her material. She just couldn't get it done without me guys. Oh, also on the Necessary Clutch Wallet, if you become addicted to doing these like I have, these little things come in really handy. I've got blue painters tape on the back for grip. Anyway, these are uh, templates, acrylic templates that are made. You can Google search that. There's several companies that make them. Makes it very quick and easy to cut out, <laughs> to cut out your stuff. Like I said, if you get addicted like I do. Tell so, me what this is for. Oh! This is for her new mini necessary clutch wallet that we're going to do just a tad bigger. We're going to enlarge it just a little bit oh, so that her cell my phone money's falling out. <laughs> yeah, I see how I picked this color before. You can pick anything you want, but I like batiks. Oh, this blue. And so I was going to get red, but red fades, and if you get it wet, it could run. It could so run. What do you think? You like that? Oh, I love it. I love the turquoisey blue. That's one of my favorite yeah. colors, anyway. Yeah, this Ooh. is going to be great. Me too. Yes, we're going to have way too much fun today, guys. We'll okay. give you updates. And where's my coffee? It's right there. Okay. Here we go. We're having a caffeine break to fuel our lightning fast minds. Yes, much, <laughs> much needed. Much needed. Yes, thank goodness hers is faster than mine because she told me to blow something up 125%. And so I chose 25 on the printer. <laughs> and I mean, I thought I was a super genius to even find where it was. Never mind. <laughs> Terry said, Joy, you poor dear moron. I did not say that. I might have thought it, but I. <laughs> bigger not smaller <laughs> so we've taken all our little funny pieces and made them one inch wider yes and so we got all our little special things we have to use a leather needle and a leather foot yes and we have to use this pellon heavy duty pellon stuff and some kind of iron on interfacing so it's a highly advanced project. Highly, highly advanced. <laughs> yes. And I changed my mind about 27 times, but now we're going to use this pretty uh, batik. Yes. I decided I wanted my batik to have some black in it since we're going to have black leather. Let's look at this here. Just look at this, how it looks next to the leather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that gorgeous right there? So pretty. So pretty. So pretty. Yes. Yeah, show them the one. Did you show them uh, earlier? Uh, yeah, I, well, I showed them the outside. So there's the outside and there's there's the inside. This is if I was a normal person. <laughs> I'm not going to make any comment on that. <laughs> not going to say a word. <laughs> well, that's a wallet. 
for a regular size wallet and you can hang it off your hip too, but I don't want mine to be like that. Didn't I want, want it, it to big. be littler. I want it to be small. Yeah. Yes, yes. Because I don't like anything heavy hanging around my neck. You know, the only small part that's left on me is my neck. <laughs> I don't want to strangle myself with a heavy Again, wallet. I'm not going to say a word. <laughs> okay, here's Terry doing extremely complicated math <laughs> for this purse. By heavens. We're trying to figure out how long the zipper's supposed to be. <laughs> okay, I think... Yours. There's. How do you like my legs and my waist there? That <laughs> lovely drawing. <laughs> 41 inches. Your butt's that big. I don't think it is. Um, so if we do 5.75. I don't know if y'all are going to want to make this. You better pay Terry to do it. Actually, okay. If we do six inches and then you have half and a half, that's still not going to work. I think it need, I think it's going to need to be 5.75. I'm still going to do some more figuring to make sure. Oh, dear Lord. But I think it's going to be 5.75. Look 5. at the table, y'all. We got fabric everywhere. <laughs> Terry ironed the interfacing on the wrong side to the iron. And so I showed her the stuff that you clean irons with, and she never even heard of it. No, never knew it existed. So, so just in case you guys don't know, let me show it to you. Yes. This is what you use to clean your iron. You get an old washcloth, fold it in half and half, or a new washcloth, doesn't matter. But once you use it for this, you won't want to use it for anything else. And this is the stuff. You clean iron with. This iron was totally covered with this sticky stuff from the interfacing. You squirt a worm of it right here on the cloth and then you just rub the hot, hot iron, hot iron over it, the bottom of the iron, and it totally completely cleans it off. So, just in case you're like Terry and you've lived in a cave your whole life, <laughs> this is what you need to clean your iron with. <laughs> okay. How about Terry Bear being here, huh? She worked hard. I'm going to tell you guys, these wallets are well worth every dime she charges for them. She got here at 9 o'clock this morning. She just left, and it's 2.30. And we worked solidly, except we took 30 minutes to go downstairs and eat lunch. And we haven't even done the leather yet. All we've done is the innards. Let me show you the innards here. Here's the innards. This is what we got done. <laughs> This is the flap, the inside flap, and the two zipper pockets. Here's the two zipper pockets. And here's the credit card slots that go on the inside. And here's the outside lining of the wallet, of the leather. And this is just some extra. <laughs> okay, I have to keep this really, really short, but I wanted to show you what I'm gonna make first with my fabric from Mary. I'm going to make the BQ3 quilt. I think we showed it to you earlier. It just takes four fabrics. And so, I've got, I added the yellow to the orange. She didn't send the yellow. I already have the yellow. She sent the orange. And I'm going to use these two for the squares. So, it's going to be big square, little square, and the yellow and the orange on the sides. So, won't that be fun? So, this quilt will go together really fast. So, um, it's just going to be a lap quilt to use when we watch TV at night. I don't think I have anything else to show you. Isn't this a cute quilt? I got this from Missouri Star. It was in with some um, fabric that I ordered recently. So, I think that'd be a fun quilt to make too. But, since I've made this one before, this is the pattern I used for... Uh, the Valentine quilt I made uh, last Valentine's Day for me and Jerry. And you're going to say, let us see it. Well, maybe I will. If you'll hold on, I'll take the camera off and go take a real quick zoom of it. Hold on. Okay, here it is in here in my Missouri Star Quilt Company corner. <laughs> and it's up there on the wall, see? Now, that one I've arranged in the zigzag. You can make this BQ3 quilt in several different formations, and so that's the zigzag formation. So somebody said they wanted to see me and Jerry when we were young. Here we are the day we got married. That's us the day we got married. My daughter Tammy was five years old. His daughter Jerry was three years old. 
And that was the day that we got married in Oklahoma City in 1975. And up there I am, sitting on our very first boat. Jerry owned a boat when I married him. And that's me, sitting on the back of the boat. <laughs> that's one of my doggies. That is um, Jackie. And this is Josie. And we had to rehome both of them because they got so, so big. But anyway, that's the BQ3 quilt, which I'm fixing to make another one of. So there's the overall of it. And let me see. This is another way that you can arrange it. So it's got pinwheels. And you saw mine in there that's the zigzag formation. This is the block. Isn't that easy? That's the block. I mean, even I can do it. <laughs> that's all I know for now. I think I'm going to try to edit this, get it to start uploading, then I'm going to go swing on my swing and read all my comments from you guys from my really quick, fast video I put up yesterday. So, bye for now.